All right, folks, I thought it fitting to share an article, even though it's about a week old, but I think it's absolutely significant. But before I share the article, there's a couple of things I want to say. First of all, God never gets it wrong. When he makes predictions in his word, you can really rest in the fact that those predictions are going to come true. The other thing that I want to say is when we talk about the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem, We shouldn't really rejoice in it. Now, don't get me wrong. I rejoice in knowing that the temple is being rebuilt in that it's a leading indicator that Jesus, of course, is coming sooner than we think, and that is perhaps uniquely exciting. But keep in mind that when this temple is rebuilt, this is going to be the temple that will be rebuilt for the coming Antichrist, who is going to seek to destroy the lives of Jewish people everywhere, as well as take dominion over the whole world in quite the most wicked way. Now, we know all of this. Uh, The Bible makes all of this clear, and we must make no mistake about it. This is coming around the corner. Now, the title of the article that I'm actually reading to you right now is uh, an important one. It says this. It says, Ben Gavir visits Temple Mount for first time as minister despite indicating he'd delay. Now, of course, I'm not so sure if he quite indicated that he would delay, but let me read this. It says, National Security Minister uh, Itamar Ben Gavir visited the Temple Mount early on Tuesday morning, his first trip to the holy site since taking up his ministerial post last week. The visit came hours after reports that Ben Gavir had agreed to put off the visit following a meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and despite condemnation from the opposition and threats from Gaza ruling Hamas terrorist group. Now here's a quote. This is an interesting one. It says the Israeli government won't capitulate to a murderous organization to a repugnant terrorist group. It's a pretty good quote there. Ben Gavir, of course, is saying that. It goes on to, uh, he goes on to speak about these terrorist threats. He says the Temple Mount is the most important place for the people of Israel. The Temple Mount is open to all. Muslims, Christians, and yes, Jews too. Jews too. There won't be racist discrimination in a government in which I am a member. Jews will ascend to the Temple Mount. Folks, let me read to you that last line one more time. He says, Jews will ascend to the Temple Mount. Can it get any more obvious what's going on here? Let me read this last quote. This is (laughs) just amazing. At the end of his statement, he says, We maintain freedom of movement for Muslims and Christians, but Jews also go up to the site, and those who make threats must be dealt with with an iron fist. Folks, they're not messing around And this temple is fixing to be rebuilt. It's probably getting rebuilt sooner than a lot of people think or realize. And this new government that is in Israel right now is going to do whatever it takes to make sure it reverses the trends that have been uniquely anti-Semitic. We shouldn't be surprised because the Bible tells us that this would happen. And I should maybe tack on one quick final note. And I probably should emphasize this. You mess around with Jews you get messed with. You curse the Jews, God curses you. You bless them, God blesses you. It's simple. You can find it in Genesis 12, 3. Don't mess with Israel. Plain and simple, don't do it. It's a pretty good piece of advice. I think we should probably all follow it. God bless you.